hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with the end of evangelion now uh, this is i think it is a movie kind of a format and it has like it's about one hour 30 minutes so this will be a long video and um yeah like as always i'll do timer i do the timer reaction and um i'm quite looking forward to this because i really want to see how they changed um, the final outcome the previous uh, episode that is episode number 20 um not previous but the uh, the episode number 25 and 26 which are i think the other ending this is i think this is the canon ending that people kind of uh, like you know it, it is a canon ending and those episodes where i don't know like maybe some alternative ending i'm not sure those alternative ending is really like i have to say it, it was done in a really unique way i've never seen an anime end like this so open and it's like you can be whatever you want to be in the ending like shinji can be a high school boy of a rom-com or something else uh, like whatever he thinks and it was like a really unique ending and i really loved it so i'm really looking forward to what this ending brings like uh, what is the canon ending and i will kind of compare them you know uh, which i think is better but yeah also i want to know uh one thing uh i want to know you guys' opinion on one thing is that will should i do like after today's episode ends should i do uh i think it is called death and rebirth which is um i'm guessing it's like a summary of the whole show i'm not sure and i've heard that there are a few information which are given the extra information should i do that or should i just in the next you know in the next week should i start the rebuild like evangelion rebuild uh, movies like should i do uh, start the movies in the next week or should i do the death and rebirth i'll leave that to your guys's opinion i'll also like write a comment and you guys should reply my like if you can you should definitely reply and like tell me what to do like should i do the death and rebirth in the next week or should i start the movie series um i'll do whatever is the majority says whatever the majority says i'll do so yeah that's just something that i want you guys to know so anyways without further ado let's get started with this uh movie uh it's one and a 30 hours long so yeah let's it'll be a long like long time i'll be wait, like watching this so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. Damn, the sponsorships. <laughs> Whoa, it's still ongoing. <laughs> well, okay. Star Child King Records. Okay, here we go. So I'm guessing this will resume from the from episode, episode after episode twenty four. I think so. I don't know. New Century Evangelion theatrical version. All right. Oh, what is this place? Is this Shinji? Oh, God. Whoa, everything's like underwater.
Is this Asuka's room? Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, um... What? Wait, what happened to her? Yeah, her. She's not dead, but. Oh my god, what the? Oh my, what? Shinji? Okay. This bandit. Wait for the instrumentality project to start. Oh god, if it starts then everything's over. Reach the end of its evolution and potential. Yeah, like it's basically like fusion. Use the others. We cannot use the little. Eva unit one. Cost set. Free us all from rebirth. And reborn as one. Oh, God. Okay, I know it is. This is really completely different from the uh, anime episode. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, run, run, run. Damn, okay. Something else. Oh.
Oh! They're trying to hack into it. Oh, so, okay. Five money against one. Okay, they're going in fast. Hmm. Gendo, what should we do? Oh, this is Aragi. Um, uh, not Arisco. What is that? Legal protection jurisdiction has been rescinded. Command and trust the Japanese government. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's inside. <laughs> okay, that's all good. Yeah, they must have other like things to, that they're going to start. Hmm, okay. And it's all okay. Okay. What the hell is that noise? Type six 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 firewall. Okay, so they really are unable to do anything now. Oh, now you're going to, to go through the violence path? Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Okay, this is really bad. Oh my god, they have dispatched a whole army. Okay, well. Okay, this is a little overboard. Or like overboard, don't you think? But they have the Evangelions, so I can kind of guess why they are like. Okay, well. Exactly. Yeah. Like, either kill or you'll be killed. That's basically it. Oh my god, these guys are scared. Like, I don't blame them, like... Okay, well... Oh, great. Oh, God damn it.
the decoy they're after real Shinji-kun is not yeah the, yeah okay that's true okay Okay. Where is Ray? Oh, she's in the that place uh, where all the other rays are. Like that Remain underwater the okay. Shinji isn't there? Oh my god. I thought Shinji was in a better mental state than at least Asuka, but it seems as if he also is really like suffering. He is suffering, but I did not. Okay. Okay. Ha! Damn, they <laughs> Yeah. True. Oh God. Oh no. And they are even not like equipped with like you know to fight with humans. Like they've they're always fighting with angels. So like suddenly something like this is. Bake light. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> okay, wow. I'm cutting up the defense budget. Oh, that as well. Wow. It's as if like they were just making them hang on a string so that they can cut it off whenever they pleased okay calm down yeah love is destructive Okay, what is this place? Oh, this is Ray. Okay, Gendo is here. Time has come, let's go. 
Oh god. Oh god. Wow, great, like, oh, oh no, oh, Misato is here, oh, okay, thank God. Damn. Oh. Shinji kun is not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God. Sam. God. Oh, okay, that's why. They don't use that. Oh, no. Oh, no, what is that? Oh, no, God. What the? Yeah, speak of the devil. Oh, oh, God. Intentionally engineered by mankind. Because it was the only way to minimize the potential that this attempt in burning state before the other and awoke Lilith just like Adam was we're the 18th angel the angels are just different possibilities of what oh Prime Minister's official residence. New KJK were of hating its own kind. <laughs> No, we won't make the same mistake for it. Oh, next 20 years. So they're holding this whole thing for the next 20 years. All oh, detachments on Damn.
Oh god. Oh no. Who is that? Who is the other one? Is that her mom? Okay. Okay. Whoa. What the? Oh. Okay, I was thinking what's happening. So this is what's happening. I don't think that will work now. Oh, it's using the ship as a shield. And this is what I was saying, like, if Asuka and Shinji were both in good mental, like, you know, condition, they could have stopped this easily. Meaning of the AT field. Oh. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> when the thing that like Oh, no no power. Okay. The backup battery is still there. God. <laughs> well, she, she's defeating each and every one. So <laughs> God, <laughs> like <laughs> Okay. Well, oh, do, do they have some other Evangelion or? Oh, what is this? Oh, um. oh. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh, great. So many of them. Nine units equipped with the S2 engines. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, okay, this is a problem now. Wow. It says root 20, okay. Hmm. And change it still. Three and a half minutes, 20 seconds each. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Okay, that was easy. I was thinking they're going to like put up a tough fight or something. Oh, great. Uh, I think that was some kind of German word, I'm guessing. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, there was Oh. Where did she get hurt? Her hand? Where did the bullet Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, he has never made a decision himself. That is his main problem. Yeah, because he is doing everything that he wants because of his dad. And Sato is a lot like him as well. Yeah. When you found your answers. Okay. I guess I, I'm hoping this will like wake Shinji up. Okay, I hope he remembers. Oh.
Wait. Oh, what the? Okay, okay I was not expecting. Oh, God, what the? Oh no, I'm guessing she'll die. Oh god, I was thinking, like... Oh god. She said, like, come back to me and then, like, she knew she was going to die. Oh, what the? And she understood that. God. Oh, oh no. Yeah, come on. Crush the, yeah, there it is. Okay, there are too many of them. What the hell? Oh god. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Okay, how many did she kill? Like there's there's like there's supposed to be nine of them. Like they're coming and coming and coming. What the Oh god. Okay, how many are left? Like Oh god. But I changed the Marcus program without telling you. And request. Um Okay, nothing's happened. Access denied. Oh my god, wow. Okay! Um... God. Come on, Shinji, get up! Oh, God! Okay, this is the last one? Okay. Okay, 
Okay, come on. Come on. Time is, time is up. Almost up. Oh, move, move. Okay, the 80 field. What the? Oh, no, it's... Move! Cut. Oh no. No more internal supply. Oh my god. What? Oh god, that's <laughs> wow. Okay, well that was for nothing. Oh my god. And it's spreading its wings. Wow. God. Oh no, come on Shinji, what is it doing? Oh, come on, uh, Toji's, oh no, Toji's Evangelion was in a b worst condition, I'm sure Asuka will be okay, yeah, she's fine, oh god, Oh, what the, what, what? Oh my god, this guy, okay, now Shinji is annoying me. Like, even after Ritsuko so, said so many, uh, not Ritsuko, like, Misato, like... Like, there's a time and place for everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shinji's evangelion itself is, like, moving now. Okay, yeah, it has activated. Okay. Oh no! The wing, uh, the wing that we saw in... When the second impact happened. Okay, he, did he get in? Yeah, he got in. Well, you got in too late. What the hell is wrong? I mean, now he's going to get traumatized looking at Asuka. Like, what is wrong with this kid? Oh my god. Like, even after Misato said so many things to him, I expected him to at least break out of it. He was still, like, moping around. Like, okay, this really annoyed me. Okay, I'll, I'll like uh, see the next portion and then I'll like do the discussion, okay? Um, so yeah, like, like I've defended Shinji for like so many episodes up until now. But this, like this episode really annoyed me by the end of it because I at least expected him to at least listen to Misato after like Misato said everything to him uh, with her dying breath. He was still moping around. And now after like he gets up and like comes out, he sees Asuka like this and now he's going to get traumatized again and like start moping around again. Oh god. Because I said there's a time and place for each and everything. Like, 
now is not the time like I at least expected him to like understand like you know like break out of the shell after Misato said so many things with her like you know even when she was dying like it's as if like everything that Misato said was like nothing like he just listened to it and understood something and then like went again to his previous state I'm sure he understood that Misato died after that because that is pretty like you know um evident like like you like, like you know like but yeah and for Asuka Asuka I think Asuka will be fine because you know like to uh Toji's like Evangelion went through a same thing and it was I think extremely in bad condition still the like the capsule the the like the cylinder where the pilot sits it was fine so I hope like I really hope like Asuka turns out to be okay <sighs> so this is the first half uh, the, first, the first 45 minutes I'm thinking about starting the manga you know like in my spare time because I think uh, I don't know like I really want to like know everything about this whole show and there's I think there's a visual novel as well two vision because I play visual novels uh, I'm definitely going to check the, those two out. I think it's called um, St St Girlfriend of Steel, I think. Something like that. The two novels, I think. Two visual novels. So, I'm also going to check that out as well. And I'll also check out the manga. I'll try to check out the manga. I think the manga has like um, 90 or something chapters. Um, it, it won't be much long that I finish it because like 90 chapters is quite less <laughs> i've read a lot of like you know bigger mangas so like if i really like you know like read it try to read it like with all my concentration and quickly um, i'm hoping i can complete in in one week but i doubt i'll complete it in one week because obviously like uh, like to complete it in one week i'll have to like you know really like only like read evangelion but i have like other stuff to do <laughs> so like all like i like, record video every day as well for the youtube so it might take a little bit of time but i will eventually um like finish the manga as well and yeah and another thing i was thinking like I'm guessing all of these things that were happening that the like you know they attacked and everything from the headquarters they attacked uh NERP. I'm guessing um the same thing happened in the previous two episodes you know the alternative endings but they did not show that they only showed us uh like you know Shinji's like internal struggles Asuka's internal struggles because we kind of saw like uh, Misato and uh, you know uh Risco dead in the previous episode you, like you guys remember uh, they were like dead and everything so we were only concentrating on Shinji's internal struggles but okay I wish to fix my heart ah oh, no Hideaki okay yeah as I was saying so I'm guessing they only showed us okay anyways I'll talk about it later on forbidden fish on Adam and Lilith oh god Mika and Papa. Take me there. I can now kind of understand what. Oh God, what uh, Gendo's actual plan was. Like the human instrumentality project. It basically is going to bring Gendo's soul together with Yui. 
तो इज दैट द मेन मोटिवेशन ओके लेट्स सी डेट Oh God! What? A... Oh, there's a line. Lots of loneliness. Oh, spear of loneliness, not lance. Um. Okay, I'm think one thing I'm really confused of. What is the purpose of the lance of Longinus? I've not understood that. Evangelize humanity, the true form of it. So the instrument written. Understood. Oh no. God. Use it as a medium. Holistic matter. Tree of life. This is the reason they were created. Oh. Oh, this is the. Uh, uh, what's that called? Anti anti eight. Yeah, this is the um. What is it called? The tree of Sephiroth or the tree of life? I think. Isn't it, or am I wrong? Oh God! Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. The drip doesn't. Red earth purification ceremony. Original form. Oh God. The egg of the red source of all human life. Black moon. Oh, this is the black moon they were talking. Oh God. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. 
Ok. Oh. The human. Oh. Okay. God, what is that? Okay. This episode is again confusing me. A few things. Okay. Oh, God. Session of ego of if I unit. The third retribution is at hand. Um. Oh, the resonate. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this will freak you out. I don't blame you. Pilot's ego won't be able to take much of this. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, the Lance of Longinus. Your bear is getting weaker. Fruit of life is held by the angels. Oh my god! The tree of life! The souls of the two souls have formed again. Fakum to. What do you wish for?
I'll start a place. Oh, God. Okay, well, yeah, you need a Oh, God. Damn.
Oh. Oh god, well... This is the Hedgehog's dilemma. He wants people to care for him, but he hurts them. God. Oh. What the? Oh my God. Thought that everyone else felt the same as you do. Finance it. A flare. The anti finance. Oh. I'm really confused about a lot of things. And we maintain the separate forms. Oh! The Chamber of Guff. The door to both the beginning and the end.
Oh my god. The AT fields are disappearing. Oh god. I can't believe that anyone could. What this happened? One thing I can understand is like the whole human instrumentality project is actually happening. The AD field, which is like the shield, is being destroyed. So, like, you know, so that all the souls can fuse together. That I could understand. Like, you know, whenever the AD field went down, uh, people were seeing their beloved person and, you know, like, they were kind of splattery. That means like they were fusing together, all the souls are fusing together. Because the AT field has gone away from each other's soul. That I understand, but... Like what's up with the... Eva's like, you know, piercing their hearts and... I'm confused about a lot of things. And I'm also confused about what the actual... Like you know, what is the... Significance of the lands of longiness. Oh God. Oh. Oh god. I'd rather die than Oh 
God. Okay. okay, they're showing us Oh, damn. What is happening? Like... Oh my god, this is even more confusing. Okay. Is this the people watching the movie? Does it feel... Gap between your good and the reality. Others. You only find happiness in your dreams. Your attempt to change here. What's it do for you? Where is my dream? Continuation of dream. Oh. I really need some explanations. One thing I'm really curious, did each and every, like, did someone really understand everything after watching it only one time? Okay, I'll talk. C of LCL, the primordial soup of life. No individual forms do not exist. Okay. And because well, where you cannot tell where you end and the other begin. What well, where you exist everywhere and don't This is the world you wished for. You wish for others to exist the world. Huh? Okay. Your one soon. Pen in when I exist in reality. There's no good in the place I explain. This right for the 80 field to call you and others can. 
What are you to hear? We are the hope. People will one day be able to understand each other. Uh, Oh God. Oh. Really think this in a place unknown. Create your own life or to create your own flow of time with their own free will, then nothing will change at all. So you must regain your own loss from my own violation. Words became lost. Anyone can return to human form as long as they are able to imagine themselves within their own heart. And the will to go on there. And that is as long as you have the will to win. Always have the chance to be happy. But it's oh my God. Okay. Will you be okay? It's you, isn't it? Yeah. I still think about my own. Or not. It was good to come back. Oh God. When man created Evangelion, what they trying to create a clone of God. Oh. 
Okay. Along with the human soul. Then. Okay. You'll be lonely. As long as one person still lives, then mankind ever existed. I need to one more final. Oh my god. Okay, okay, well. Oh. Oh, really? What is this place? Is this like... Oh, the hand! What the? I'm really confused. What is happening? Like, what? Wait, what is happening? Okay, I really want to know one thing. Everyone, everyone who has watched this show for the first time, I really want to watch. Is there anyone? who got everything watching this only one time and not like you know like researching about it because if if there is someone who got everything on the first try i'm gonna give an applause to you and like you, you deserve an award because i like first of all a lot of things went over my head now the whole explanation of evangelion is very vague because like i kind of understand what actually the adam and lilith is but at the same time i do not understand it's like a really weird thing now i'm going to talk about a lot like a few things which i did not understand at all first of all 
what is the lens of longinus and why like what is its significance like the people uh was like the old men were saying like the people from zedek they were saying that um uh, like the lens of longinus is not with us so like it will be a problem and then when it came back they started saying that oh the lens lance is back so we can start you know the what we want to that's the first thing that i want to know another thing that i'm really confused about is the actual uh, intention of the like these uh, i think they call the zeres wasn't it like them the, the the like the 11 or 12 members who were like you know we saw the guy with a kind of a thing and it's like an old guy um, who are like those people like what were their actual intention i understood gendo's intention gendo's intention was to uh, like uh, for the human instrument talent project i think um that is like you know fusing all the souls to one entity and i also kind of understand why he wanted to do that because he wanted to be together with yui again i think that was like basically it you know mm. so yeah like i think that was gendo ikari's like intention what was the other people's intention the zere members intention like what did they do so that's another thing that i really did not understand another thing that i did not understand is like what happened when like ray uh, like when like you know gendo said that you betrayed me and ray says that ikari is calling to me and you know fused now uh, like what was that about like i'm guessing like gendo was trying to fuse with ray or something like when he like you know put his hand inside ray and then like when uh, ray you know kind of like cuts off his hand and says that I'm like Ikari is calling me and started to float and Gendo said that you betrayed me or something like that um, I'm guessing he, she's like she did not allow him to fuse with her so what was like uh, you know Gendo actually trying to do there like I was quite confused there and um, why did like Ray a lot of questions I have like you know why did Ray like fuse with I, I think that was that thing which was like crucified was that the Adam or was that the Lilith? I think that was the Lil Lilith, wasn't it? And like, like Ray fused with it and then there's like this huge thing that came out. I was also confused with that, like what was that? Like that huge like Ray that like suddenly came out and like you know? And the, the thing with 80 field, I, I was first unable to understand what were they talking about the 80 field. Then I kind of understood it when, like, I kind of, like, vaguely understood it. I think, like, the 80 field is, like, you know, as, as you kind of explained, that it's a barrier a people, like, put in their soul, in their heart. So I'm guessing, like, according to, like, you know, the, the explanation given here, um, the 80 fields are keeping the souls away from each other, you know, because we have 80 fields. Uh, another person's soul is different from us so if the 80 field like goes away the souls will fuse together so that was what was happening wasn't it like the 80 fields all went away so they fused together and like there was like a really like nice explanation in the end where like shinji was like you know kind of understanding when like yui came and was talking with shinji uh like he said something like uh like you know uh i want the 80 fields back because like you know uh, even if like the 80 fields are like a restriction we do not like when the 80 fields come back we will all feel fear you know we will all be like have our like own complexes and all like you know like if the 80 fields is gone like all the souls will fuse together and people can compensate each other's like you know mm, uh, like you know uh, things that are not there in people's uh, soul like people things that are lacking they can compensate each other that is the main thing that was kind of explained in the previous two episodes uh, like you know so i can kind of understand that like so that's why like the a whole 80 field like went away and the whole like all the souls fused together but shinji said that uh, i thought that that place will be good you know the place where like all souls are together you do not have to feel fear you'll be happy kind of but then i understood that what i wanted is not there so i wanted to go back to the like you know previous state and uh you know and that's why like the 80 field i'm sure like it came back again and like the people like you know the whole like fusion did not happen like in the end like when ray and kaoru comes and like you know like asks shinji so what do you want um, he says that I want it all back and like then Shinji asks that who are you two 
and they says that i'm the happiness inside of you so like i'm guessing mm, like the main decision was left to shinji because both kaoru and rei uh, wanted the best for shinji like they wanted to make shinji's wish come true so i i'm i'm guessing so that is the reason why like shinji was like the main person whose decision mattered in the end because you know like uh, rei was the main thing uh, i'm still unable to understand what actually rei was like you know like i can kind of understand but still like that huge big rei that came out what that actually was i cannot pinpoint my you know but like one thing i can really like understand is that rei wanted the best for shinji and same same like similar to kaoru so like that's why like since they were like the main thing because they wanted the best for shinji they came and asked shinji that what do you want and shinji's decision was the main decision that they decided to you know like carry all out so that's basically it like it's basically like the main like <laughs> Like I'm going to make a weird uh what can I say like like <laughs> like I'm going to say something weird like it's like it's something like uh like you're playing a video game and if <laughs> like if the last boss you have the maximum affection with the last boss you know uh by the end of it you can win the game something like that you know because like if the last boss is the main boss of the whole game if you have your affection maxed out with him or her <laughs> they let you win something like that like it was something like that that happened i'm guessing because that's the reason why like shinji was like the main person whose decisions mattered in the end and if shinji said something like no i want everything to become like this you know like all souls together that would have been it but shinji took a different different decision uh, he like you know even though he himself kind of wanted like you know everyone to die as he was saying like because like if no one will love me i want everyone to die and stuff like that you know and uh, like his like own complexes and his him saying that like will people love me if people don't love me like what can i do like even if people love me now what will happen like and like so many years after if they like start hating me like all of these kind of things like these were the things that shinji uh, like you know like was uh, pressing on shinji and like these kind of things so that's why like he was so mopey and everything and by the end of it he decided no i want to like try this out so that's why like when ray and kaoru asked him like he said that no i want everything to go back the way it was and like kaoru said that okay like kaoru and ray said that okay i think that was it okay so as i said and another thing i am really confused about was what was that weird section where like they were showing us uh, like scenes from the real world like what was that Like there were like people <laughs> sitting and like watching the movie or something. That that also confused me again. And like you know, then like the next scene, I kind of understood when like Ray was like sitting on top of you know um, Shinji and like saying that this is a primordial like soup of life. You know, like this is where like this is not death, but this is a state where like all souls are like together. And that's when like she asked him him the question. and uh, you know that if do not like at fields do not exist or something like that and then like after like shinji makes his decision and the big evangelion uh, not evangelion but the big ray uh, it, it kind of like weird stuff starts to happening with her like there's like a weird thing coming out of you know a weird ball and then like there's like weird lights coming up uh, and like those lights i i'm thinking like those were I don't know. I'm really confused uh, here again. Like basically one thing I can understand is like Ray reverted everything back to normal, didn't he? But like I'm saying like Ray reverted everything back to normal, but after that the thing that happens is not normal. There's like a huge Ray's face, like it was like kind of cut. What was that? Was that like the remnants of that huge Ray? you know when like you know ray started reverting everything back to normal uh, like there's like this cut that came on its like throat and like like weird thing came out of its belly and everything and like it started like decomposing and falling down so like was that the remnants of it like you know like when we see shinji and asuka on a beach another thing i'm confused with is where are the other people like we can only see shinji and asuka there 
So I'm guessing like everyone is back to normal or am I wrong about it? Like Asuka came back and Shinji is there. And I think Shinji like made the decision of everything to go back to normal, didn't he? I don't know, like I'm quite confused. Or maybe, or maybe the, did the people who were like alive, did they only come back? Because, um, I don't know, like I'm guessing like, like Asuka was still alive by the end of it. You know, so is that the reason why Shinji and Asuka was only on that beach? Like there was like no one else there. Um, so I'm guessing everyone died. Did they, everyone die or something? I'm really confused there. And the way it ended, and then another weird thing happens. Like. I thought that Shinji kind of like, you know, took everything back and like, uh, made like, you know, made a decision. Then when he comes back to consciousness and he sees Asuka beside him, he starts to, uh, like, I don't know, like, you know, like strangle her. Like what, what was that? And then like when Asuka like caresses his face, starts crying, like, I don't know, like I kind of thought that Shinji made his decision, didn't he? So then why is he like again trying to? Triangle Asuka. These are like the weird things that I really am unable to understand. So. Yeah, I, so the main things that I really want to know is what is the Lance of Longinus and what is its significance? I still am unable to understand what was it used for and what was the whole thing with all the Evangelions kind of stabbing itself. Like, you know, with the like imitation of the lance, like the, the lance of longinus was the red thing. And the other like, like, like the spears or lances that look like the lance of longinus, I think they, those were imitations or something, I'm not sure. So, I'm really confused. So yeah, as I was saying, so that is like the main thing that I want to know, like what was the lance and what's the significance. Another thing that I want to know is like, what was the actual intention of Sere? Like, I thought both of them were trying to, like, Ikari and the Sere, they both of them were trying to uh, get the same thing, didn't they? Like, the human instrumentality project, as far as I could understand. So why were they kind of fighting against each other? I don't understand that. So I'm guessing there is some kind of difference between both of them, like, their intentions. Like, those two are the main things that I'm confused about. I don't know. And the, the portion where like, you know, like there's this, mm, like, uh, like this kind of like all the rays were like kind of like squibbling around and coming in front of the different characters, you know, uh, they were like seeing each of their beloved ones. And like, I'm guessing that was like a thing which was, which they were doing to, um, negate the AT field you know like whenever i'm guessing like uh, you come in front of in presence of the person you love the most the AT field kind of vanishes so i think that was like the thing that they were trying to show us so whenever like this kind of rays were like coming in front of them and taking the form of the person they loved like they were like you know like removing the AT field from their heart and that's like when like you know like they splattered and i think that was like shown to make us understand that you know, like all of the souls were fusing together and these like these like ray duplicates or these clone type of rays, like I don't know what those were, I'm guessing some kind of illusion. Like they were like coming and negating the AD field. So so that they can like fuse together and become this one entity or something. Um Yeah, I really am confused. Another thing that I'm confused about is what was that big type of like that big ray, what was that? You know? <laughs> oh god, this was something. And... I'm guessing the previous two episodes that I watched, you know the anime, the anime episodes of episode 25 and 26, and I guess those two episodes. Um, they were like, I think they were also kind of the, kind of similar to this, but that did not show us all of these details what were happening. No, we were only kind of like focusing on Shinji Asuka their heart like you know what their problem was and how Shinji came like you know came into um, like came to understand himself more and uh, made his decision that was basically it 
but i'm guessing this uh, like episode like gave more importance to what was happening outside and they also showed changes like in our world a little bit but not that much but what were happening outside they showed us so i think it's kind of similar both isn't it in a way like both those two episodes and this episode and this movie and also Shinji kind of makes a decision in this movie in the previous episode i think it was like kind of open for us to interpret whatever we want to but we see what decision Shinji takes in this like movie but it cuts off in a weird place like you know like asuka says that disgusting i'm guessing obviously like asuka says something like that because you know uh, he was trying to kill her even after all of these things that happened i i'm not sure like i'm still not sure why shinji like decided to strangle her at that moment after everything that happened after like you know even after like yui comes and like talks with him and it seemed as if like shinji decided to give it a chance you know to live with other people why did he still try to str like strangle asuka like that is another thing that i really am not understanding so all of these things so <laughs> I really want to know, like, did, is there anyone who understood all of the things in one, like, you know, watching this for only one time? Because if there really is a person, I have to say, like, hats off to you. Like, this is really something that, I don't know, like, it's so confusing in so many ways. Uh, I think the confusion is more because they do not explain anything, especially in the end. Like the like the first episode, the, I think the first twenty episodes, they were like on their own, like doing each and like you know, like like it's so like calm and everything, not, no explanations, nothing. And I was guessing, oh, they're probably going to like you know explain something by the end of it. And when like episode twenty and like it starts, the last few episodes starts, they start piling up so many information and like without any explanation, that it's more like you have to kind of like you know make up the explanations yourself. So it's kind of unique in a way, you know, because it's just like they gave us all the like, you know, like information and the explanation behind it are like is there and it's not there. And like we can like we have to like think about it ourselves and understand it uh, like in our own way. It's kind of unique in that way, but still like so much information like. <laughs> oh, my God. And. As I said, like, I'll probably start the manga, like, reading the manga, you know, because uh, I've heard that the manga has better explanations. And I'll probably check that out. And obviously, like, and I also another thing, I kind of said it in the beginning of the video, should I do the rebirth and the death? The, I think it's called the death and the rebirth. Uh, it's, I, I think it's probably, like, one and a half hour, another, like, kind of a summary video. I'm not sure what that actually is. But, like... Like, my question is, do you want me, like, do you guys want me to react to that? Like, uh, if you want, uh, like, like, my question is, in the next week, you know, in this day, uh, should I start the rebuild series or should I do the death and the rebirth? Um, I said that in the beginning of the video as well, I'm again saying it. So, like, write your opinion down in the, I'll, I'll, like, I'll do a comment. <clears throat> like post a comment like like with this question as well like i just like uh, you know give your opinion there and i'll kind of like compare how many people want me to uh, like like do the death and the rebirth and how many people want me to uh, just carry on with the rebuild series without like you know reacting to that i'm really curious so and i'm not even sure if that like adds too much explanation or something or I don't know so i'm quite curious so i'll like kind of compare it and i'll decide what to do in the next week you know after looking at that if the if the majority of people says that watch the death and the rebirth and the next week i'll do that and from the upcoming week i'll start the rebuild series otherwise uh, from the next week i'll start the rebuild series that's basically it so yeah and i'd be really appreciate i really appreciate it if, if if someone can please explain like the main things here like especially the lance of longinus the series intention what that huge ray was and you know like what the hell actually happened there and why did shinji suddenly decide like you know like decide to strangle asuka even after everything happened those are the, like the main uh, questions i have so yeah um 
that was it otherwise i think i understood most of the things the first p- part of the episode was uh like you know um, more like uh like shinji and asuka are in depression and like these kind of the, the other people decide to like you know attack them and like asuka breaks out of his, her depression and starts butchering the other evangelians and all and then like misato dies and uh like asuka is also in a bad position shinji decides to you know like get into the evangelion again and the next part of the episode is all confusing and all and uh, like ray decides to i don't know what that actually was like i think like as like gendo said betray him or something but i i don't really understand how did she, why did like why not why but how did she even betray him because by the end of it he got what he wanted didn't he like he wanted to be like fused together with all the souls so that like you know he can go back to yui that's what happened so what actually was his intention you know the like gendo's intention uh, like what was he actually trying to do that's another thing and then there's like this kind of weird stuffs were happening like this kind of like the huge ray was doing something the whole world was getting destroyed or something everything was like fusing together and then we get a weird uh, like section of the real world like the how what the real people are doing and shinji like talks with her his mom and like kaoru and uh, you, you know ray and decides to like you know go back to the original world how it originally was and everything kind of becomes normal these like the evangelians that were floating around they starts to i don't know like kind of get destroyed or something the huge ray kind of like you know falls down her face falls down and then like you know they're like in a beach and everything and shinji decides to strangle asuka and asuka like kind of gasses her his face and he starts crying and asuka says disgusting i don't know also another thing okay this section i want to check this out again just a second okay here it is and when he's talking with his mom and then like we get a section of where mom and fusuki sensei is talking okay uh, when man created evangelion were we trying to create a clone of god okay um yes humans can only exist on this planet but the evangelion can live forever okay along with the human soul that dwells within okay even 5 billion years from now when the earth the moon the sun and gone ever will exist okay it will be lonely but as long as one person still lives it will be eternal proof that mankind ever existed hmm okay but all right so anyways so yeah that was it that was this episode um more than being amazed i'm confused that was basically it um and yeah i think it, it, it like like the ending was really abrupt like you know like what even happened there like <laughs> i'm confused so yeah like as i said like be, be sure to comment down below and uh, anything you want to like you know um say every bits and pieces will help <laughs> you know <laughs> for me to understand what the actual hell happened in the final episode not final episode the final movie of this series and yeah i'd appreciate it and i'm like as i said like i probably will start the manga and i'm guessing if i start reading the manga i'll also understand a lot of things because i don't know i i i hope and i guess the manga has better explanations because i don't know i just think so yeah like let's wait for it 
So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. This was the end of Evangelion. It's been a long time. I'm like it's almost two hours. So I'll probably I'll stop this video now. So thank you guys for watching again. And uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll definitely check them out. And yeah, especially for this episode, I'll definitely check them out. <laughs> So, <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, I'll be back next week with another Evangelion episode. Um, as I said, like comment down below. What do you want me to do? The death and the rebirth, uh, like you know, episode, or should I start with the rebuild series from the next week? So, either way, I'll do something. So yeah, see you guys then. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.